Hey, what is up you guys? It is Ivan Forrest and welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans and today there is a clan war ongoing right now, which is really interesting. I already threw in two of my attacks and I'm gonna show you guys how well I did. I think that's going to be pretty interesting. I still have yet to rearrange my base, so that is something that you guys should look forward to. Uh, I have no idea how I'm gonna be doing it, but someone actually uh, showed me a defense that looks really good on a uh, Tana level 5 for the guild war. So that's what I've been doing. I'm actually gonna show you guys if I can my base um, where is it at it's over here and it's still not dead yet that is really awesome okay cool so I'm gonna look at this base it looks really nice I um, I like this base quite a bit but it's it's not usable in a actual uh, it's not usable it's not usable regularly so this is like perfect for the uh, for the war I actually like uh, took it over real fast and if you guys want to be using this one it proved very very effective and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, replay that someone actually did on this base which actually was a pretty nice replay so let's actually see he drops the Giants first uh, gets hit by my bomb over here my clan castle troops go out I have a witch and a couple of these barbarians so that's okay another barbarian comes in I think he's like trying to lure my clan castle troops away from the pack so right now the archers are in as well uh, I think they're gonna be pulverized as you guys can see I do take out a couple of them but as you guys can see the witch is already gone then more giants come in the mortar starts shooting wall breakers kaboom boom they get taken out so they don't really do anything archers get into sight they get closer and closer to the base he is only attacking from the left side which is really funny to me uh, but also a good tactic you know you own and now the clan castle troops I think these are really high level giants they look really awesome with the like fur coat and everything uh, uh, okay, look at this moment right now. Boing! They get taken out by the trap that I set up there. So that just makes life a little bit easier. And as you guys can see, not a whole lot is happening here. Another barbarians come inside here. Uh, surrounding the entire base, well, part of the base. And as you guys can see, he's at 37% right now. He's having troubles already getting up to 50%. And in the end, he actually does manage to get a 50%, but only just. Look at it. There you go. A 50% on this base, and I feel very confident about this base. So if you're Tana level, Tana level 5, uh, feel free to actually use this layout if you really want to. It's not mine. I take no credit for this one. I have no idea who made it either. Someone actually sent me a picture online about this base that he got off YouTube as well so I might have to ask him where he got it from so now let's actually go ahead and check out my attacks the first one that I did was on this guy on level uh, 46 and decided to go with an interesting tactic now everything is still on tax so let's actually go to the replay on this replay, I decided to go with balloons, and I was like, if we just manage to take out the air defense and the archers, we're in a good position here. So I was trying to lure the clan castle troops, but I didn't know its range. So now the clan castle troops actually go out whenever I actually drop the archer, and here's where I actually should have just dropped the lightning spell to take out the units here, but I didn't do that, unfortunately. Uh, instead, I was thinking that my balloons were going to be targeting those units, and when I realized that wasn't the case, I just decided to drop all of them on the castle itself then i drop my own clan castle troops over here i think i have a witch and barbarians so that didn't really work i've decided to use my lightning spell to actually take out that air defense and then right now the wizard tower is shooting at me now it gets pretty tricky so as you guys can see the air defense pops in and actually t does a lot of damage towards my balloons actually taking them out and as you guys can see right now the problem that i'm having here is that the arches are actually shooting against my balloons so that isn't really how convenient it's actually jumping over his own walls taking me out just like that now, if it wasn't for those archers, I would have probably gotten an easy 50% on the base. Uh, maybe even taken it down, but that wasn't the case, unfortunately. Let's move on to the next one. My next attack was against Willy Wall Backup. Uh, Wally Backup. And um, there was an attack ongoing right now, but that's going to be okay. So, as you guys can see, I'm actually luring out the Clan Castle troops, just like that. Then I'm dropping the Lightning Spell to actually do some damage there. The only thing that I didn't saw... There was a Valkyrie there, and the Valkyrie is pretty freaking deadly. I didn't even need to use all of those units down there. I didn't even need to use the Clan Castle troops because I just got wiped out just like that. So that was a bad tactic from my side. Now I'm left with 24 balloons. What I'm going to be doing with that? I was like thinking I need to take care of all of the Archer Towers and I need to take care of the Air Defense. Now that's going to be the biggest trouble here. So I'm like diversifying them over the entire base. Let's see how it goes. The Air Defense... Hits me at the right side. Still have a couple of balloons left, so I back them up. 
Uh, just in case I left them down there like four balloons just in case you know my air uh, balloon get taken out So as you guys can see we took out both archer towers I think three of them and right now it's only the air defense the air defense is doing quite some damage here towards my balloons And as you guys can see we're getting to this air defense right now actually taking it out so what happens here? They spread out very nicely. Just to speed it up four times. Uh, they spread up even further, which I'm pretty happy with. They spread up even further, but then they gather together, which is quite unfortunate. There's one balloon over here that actually takes the camps by himself. So let him just ride down there. I'm taking out everything down there. So far, it looks pretty nice, but I'm in a time situation where, where the time is really not helping. As you guys can see, what you need to know is... If I only had one more second, I'm not, I'm not lying. If I only had one more second, I would have taken out this entire base with a 100%. But unfortunately, that was not the case. And overall, I'm still quite happy with this attack. I should have probably left a couple of barbarians um, outside. You know, uh, it, I, probably if I didn't waste them on that Valkyrie, I would have like won this battle. But unfortunately, that is not going to be the case. So yes. That's what we did, and that's how I've been doing this actual uh, clam war to make it up for you guys for not showing you guys what I did before. Uh, right now, Monistic is under attack by uh, Marwan, but that's going to be okay. Um, okay, uh, let me actually see. Can someone attack? I'm recording. Okay, there we go. And I'm not going to be donating some, um, I'm not going to be donating like war, war barbarians onto these guys because that's just not what they like. So let's go over the base. What have I been upgrading? Well, I actually got some gems now. So I instant finished this uh, elixir collector. I also finished my army camps over here. It's level 5 right now. It's the maximum level, which is really sweet. This one's level 4 right now, and this one's also level 4, so I need to get started on those as well. Right now I am focusing on this gold mine. I'm focusing on this elixir collector and this gold mine as well. Alongside with the air defense, which I got started on yesterday already. It's a three-day upgrade, but I figured, you know, get started on that the fastest because that is actually pretty important defense. Okay, King Aiden is going to be uh, dropping an attack pretty soon, so that's going to be okay. So in the meantime, I'm actually just going to go and do a little raid here. So, I actually want to be going for something over 100,000 loot. So, that's actually pretty easy to find around the levels where I'm right now. This guy. This is just a little bit too easy. And this guy is actually asking for it. So, why not, you know, give in and actually give this one a go. So, I'm going to be dropping my barbarians pretty diversified here over the, over the edges of this center. I'm actually happy that the mortar is shooting at the... Left barbarians. Okay, there we go. Going near the mortar right now. Taking out the mortar. That's the only thing we really need to be taking out. Oh, we also have a wizard's tower. That's something to consider as well. So let's just go ahead and, and actually drop them surrounding the entire base. So that way they can actually take out the majority of this base. And right now everything is dropped. There's a few barbarians at the right side. A couple of them down below here. A couple of them at the top. So that is like reinforcements later on. So as you guys can see right now they're going on the tunnel. I'm not too happy with that because we still get that uh, wizard's tower firing on us. Right now elixir tower actually gets taken out. It isn't an elixir tower. It's actually an elix elixir collector. But it seems to me that we might get wiped out here i'm a little bit like i'm a little bit concerned here because the wizard tower is still firing on us and i should have probably focused on that a little bit earlier right now they're coming close to this wizard tower actually starting to do some damage here but is it going to be too late i have no idea because the cannons over here are shooting as well at the same time i think Oh, wait, we have some resources over here. It's actually quite a bunch of barbarians. I think about 20 of them are still here in play. It's going to be quite tricky. They're going for the air defense and as well going for the wizard's tower. Take it out. Wizard's tower is gone right now. We only have these two cannons over here at the archer towers. But the problem is I just have two little units to actually continue this attack. So um, I'm going to be dropping in my clan castle troops, of course. I got some hawk riders. That is really awesome. Now I was not going to be leaving it with a like a with a 10% or something like that. You know that is just or like a 95%. That's just something that I totally do not like. So hopefully I take it out. I think I damaged my own units there with the, that uh, lightning spell. So yeah, unfortunately 98% once again. That was a little bit bad planning from my side, but cannot do anything about that. Okay, let's head back to. 
Go, go. Uh, go, go. I'm gonna be rebuilding my bar uh, my barbarians just in case, because I actually want to be throwing in another attack in just a moment here. And let's go to the map here. So, right now. Oh, King Marco is under attack by some other guy over here. So, a lot of wizards right now. That's probably not the smartest thing to do. Because if you just, like, throw them out at the same position, what you're going to be getting is a poof like this. Clan castle troops come out. This guy is totally being random, I feel like. Dropping the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen right now. And as you guys can see, this guy just gets wiped out, I think. Uh, the Electric Tower is right now actually firing pretty nicely on there. The Mortar is still intact and does a lot of the damage on the Barbarians. As you guys can see, they're all in groups. They're in groups of two and they're gathering together here right now. Um, do they get some damage? No, they actually get taken out. I don't know, like, high level stuff, but I probably would have not done it this way. I don't know about you guys, so this guy is getting a lot of damage here from this Mortar. Mortar keeps firing away, and boom, there you go. The Barbarians are gone right now. Right now, he only has a couple of Archers left and a Wizard, so it gets pretty interesting. Will he be able to get a 50% here? I think he will with this, uh... Archer Queen down here. Yeah, he got a 50% and I think that's all he needs on this raid. So, pretty nice attack still, but yeah. I probably would have not done it that way. Okay, someone is attacking right now. Cop, he's attacking Mando TM right now. TM for trademark. And he's uh, using some minions right now. He's going with like 100 minions or something like that, which is just absolutely insane. A really cool strategy to be using. Minions are really, really diverse and pretty strong. Uh, he drops them very nicely because he, he takes the, he like diversifies everything right there. Not attacking them in groups, which is a good thing. Uh, he has so many of them. They're just going to be swarming the base. He's most definitely going to be getting a 50% on this attack. I think he also dropped his Barbarian King there at the top. So the Clan Castle troops are going to be going for there. I see a Valkyrie versus the Barbarian King. The Barbarian King almost gets taken out. The Valkyrie is really strong. And right now, you see it, 62%. And I think that's about it for Cop. But pretty nice attack still. But you know, we wanted to two-star from this. Okay, King Aiden, he's finally attacking. Let's actually see how he's doing. I cannot see it. That sucks. I... Cannot do anything about that, but I do want to watch him attacking. So I'm going to be throwing in another attack. Let me actually collect the spell here. Going to instant finish these troops. These as well. Oh. Just one more. Well, that was a little bit of a waste, but that's okay. Rebuild everything. And there we go. Alright, now... Let's actually find another battle in there and then we're going to be watching the replay of King Aiden. So I need about like two minutes or so in order to make that happen. So let's just go uh, take it easy finding a base here. So this base, not too much loot here. I was thinking about something with 40,000 at least this time around. I do have a lot of gold so I probably want to be getting elixir. So 50,000 elixir and I'll be happy. Or an interesting base that can be cool too. This guy's just asking for it. Like, this is something I would not recommend. Everything outside. But some people, like, you got different types of Clash players. You got people that really do not care for the resources. Like, for the collectors and everything. And some people really care too much for the Town Hall. Which is interesting to see, really. I think uh, a, a health... Oh, I should have attacked this one. Um, oh, this guy's good. Look, everything is, uh, barely anything is in the collector itself, so that, I mean, everything is in the collector itself, and barely anything is in the storage, so we're just gonna go ahead and have some little fun here, and this guy has a lot of gold too, I don't need it, so the way we're gonna be doing this is over here, over here, a couple over here, and majority over here at this side. I don't need to drop all of them, I just need to be getting the elixir from the collectors, that is the only thing I'm gonna be going for. And uh, I don't even need a 50%. I think that's it. Yeah, I think we got all of it. He has like 8,000 left, so I did my duty here. Let's just wrap it up here. Yeah, pretty nice attack there. Now let's see if we can actually watch the rematch of King Aiden. So, uh, where do we watch it? Information? No. I think on the clan you can actually see what they're doing. Uh, Warlock. There you go. 
Uh, oh, that was yesterday. Uh, both. No, I can actually watch it myself. Can I? Which one did he attack, though? It was somewhere near the top. I have no idea which one he attacked. Uh, cup? Lake? It was on the right side. That's something that I know. Blackfin. Yeah! Oh, look, 100%. Let's see how we did this one, because I'm pretty curious about how we did this one. Whoa, that looks really intimidating, at least for me. So he's going with 38 Hawk Riders and 7 Archers. Let's see what he's doing. He's dragging out the Clan Castle troops here. So this guy... Another Archer down there. Doing some damage on the uh, Laboratorium. Ooh, archers for the uh, wizards there. Ooh, a dragon. That's his clan castle troop, a dragon. Whoa, that is devastating. That is really devastating. Okay. Now. Is he doing something else? Because I gotta keep everything in mind here. There's only 1 minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. And he leveled everything. So here come the uh, hawk riders. They're coming in close. Which is really nice. All of them are dropped right now. And as you guys can see, they're spreading out over here. And they do get some damage here. So I'm wondering what he's doing. Oh, he's dropping a heal spell over there at both sides. Which is a really smart tactic. He's just going all for the def uh, defenses here. And I believe it's a really nice thing that he's going for this base. Because everything is like right in the middle. And it's just on the pathway of the uh, of the Hawk Riders here. He literally like takes out everything here very nicely. And then these go for this little cannon over there. And once everything is gone, like every single uh, defense is gone, they just go straight for everything else on this base. So as you guys can see, this guy can have a little party here on this base. Like the Hawk Riders are like spreading out and everything. And it's just such a delight to actually just see him taking down this entire base in such an easy way as well. Right now, going into the middle, getting all of these collectors, getting the town now as well. This town now looks really cool. I think that's town now level 9. And as you guys can see, a perfect 100% from King Aiden. Very nice attack, buddy. I really liked seeing that one. So, we're going to be wrapping this episode off with another raid. And, yeah, it's just going to be barbarians like I, I always do, you know. I just... Oh, oops. I just like these barbarian attacks, man. Barbarians are just so much fun to actually use. 19. There we go. Gonna rebuild all of these right now. And then we're back in track. Finding another battle. So. At least something with like 40,000 elixirs. That would be really cool. That would be really nice. Ah, oh, this guy. So. I think this guy really rushed his town now. Because I, you can already see it from... His, the way his elixirs look. Now, he also has a lot of that in inside here. So, I probably don't want to be going for this one. Because on the inside, like, level... I think level 6 or 7 walls are just too hard for me to, to go through right now. And that's just something I want to be avoiding. Okay, this guy is really asking for it. Look at it. Like, where is his mortar even? It's all the way in the back. That's like... That's something I would not advise you. So, we're just going to be dropping a lot of barbarians there. So that way we take out that bad boy. Now, focus everything there. We have nothing to worry about. You guys have nothing to worry about. Have a, have a nice little party down here. Take out all of these elixir collectors because that is what we want to be getting. Look at this single barbarian there in the back. And we have no troubles here whatsoever from this wizard tower. We have free play. Just have a lot of fun in here. Go to the cannon. Go to the collector. Go to the cannon. Go to the mine. And we might encounter the wizard tower. I'm not sure about it. Yes, they're spreading out, which is really awesome. Going for that weak wall down there. Now, everything is going straight to that collector. And then after that, I believe they're going to be going for the tunnel. And after the tunnel, I hopefully... I hope that they're going to be going for the uh, elixir collector because then we got everything that we wanted to be getting and these barbarians all get taken out because they're going for this bearings over here a uh, couple of them are spreading out which is uh, really nice and as you guys can see this barbarian is running around the corner boom there you go we got all of the elixir collector now let's actually see how far we can go on this base taking out the clan castle this guy is not in a clan at all and right now oof that was rough. 
strong attacks here and these barbarians over here can just party over here forever because we're wrapping up this raid with a 49 46 000 elixir okay so that's going to be doing it for this episode of Clash of Clans. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not so sure if I'm going to be releasing an episode tomorrow because I actually just want to relax a little bit if you guys will allow me to. So uh, I'm just going to be upgrading some defenses and everything, uh, maybe some walls and... I'll be back like the day after tomorrow with another episode of Clash of Clans. And I hope you guys will be looking forward to that. So as always, make sure that if you guys like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, this has been Reverse of Clash of Clans. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys back again the day after tomorrow.